Hey everybody, this is Chad Kaleher, field agronomist for Vex Hybrids in East Central Illinois. Just wanted to review some things regarding fungicide applications and decision making on corn. Uh, often this time of year I get a lot of questions regarding uh, when to scout for disease, where to look for disease, how much disease needs to be present in order for me to make an application of a fungicide, what product should I use, should I use an insecticide with my fungicide, and will the fungicides help with anything else? So I want to just cover those topics here in, in the next few minutes. Um, as you can see here, I'm in a field that uh, has started to shoot some tassels out. We, and not every plant does have tassels. In fact, whenever we look at the definition of VT corn, 50% of the plants in the field need to be tasseled like this. So that's a little bit on the early side. Um, and especially if we don't have plants that are fully tasseled, we don't want to put adjuvants in the mix if we're making an early application prior to all the plants being tasseled out. So the first question I want to um, approach is when to scout for disease. Uh, really uh, at the time whenever we start to see tassels like this we can identify where the ear is going to be on the plant and that's kind of the beginning of our scouting window. So here as we move down the plant and kind of look inside the leaf axle here and see and near the collar region where that where that ear leaf is at and that's where we want to begin scouting uh, so if we identify the ear leaf and take a general look at the ear leaf the surface of it and also also uh, on the underside of the leaf as well but where I like to begin the scouting process at VT is looking two leaves below the ear leaf so here's the ear leaf here you see the ear is going to shoot here with silks and then two leaves below so here's one leaf below and here is the second leaf below right here and that's where we really want to start inspecting that leaf so look on the leaf surface see if we have any lesions or if we're fairly clean and in this particular field right now we're fairly clean not many disease lesions at all we also want to look at the back side of that leaf as well okay we we'll look for disease lesions there as well. Sometimes you can identify uh, lesions on the back side of the leaf uh, before you can on the top side of the leaf. But if we see that pretty clean, we start to look a little bit lower down on the canopy and see if we can find any disease lesions at all. And as we look down lower in the canopy, because that's where disease starts to progress from, we can see we have a, a look, what looks to be like a gray leaf spot lesion there. And that's the disease that we're set up to find more of this year because of our temperatures that we have right now being very warm. We, and with warm, humid conditions, we usually see more gray leaf spot. So we are expecting more gray leaf spot this year in, in the geography that I'm at. And so we're going to set up uh, and prepare for that. We're going to keep an eye on this. So going back to that original question, how long or when should I scout for a disease? Whenever you start to see tassels in the field, you should really begin to scout that uh, corn plant for disease. And I would encourage you to scout all the way through what I would call the sweet corn stage of corn. So uh, R2, which is the blister stage, all the way to maybe R3 or the milk stage. So remember the sweet corn stage. So that's about a three to four week window. So that's a pretty long scouting window to make those application decisions. So we talked about where to look for disease, two leaves below. And the other thing is how much disease needs to be present in order for me to make an application or a decision to make a fungicide application. So the second leaf below the ear leaf, if we have disease lesions, and again I said this was pretty clean, if we have disease lesions that add up to the size of a quarter, then we would make a fungicide application decision at that time. And usually if we have that amount of disease, we're going to make a fungicide application. The next question is uh, that I get a lot, what products should I use? Uh, in our practical farm research studies, we have found that Headline Amp currently is the one product that is PFR proven, meaning we have at least three years of data at, at a minimum where we've had a positive yield response each year and a positive economic return on investment. So right now, Headline Amp which is a combination product of a strobilurin, a preventative, and a triazole, a curative product, is the only PFR proven product. I will say that I am very, uh, very high on recommending Trivapro, which is a Syngenta product. Trivapro has 
three active ingredients in it with three different fungicide groups represented. So Trivapro is a strobilarin, a preventative, plus a SDHI, another preventative, and also a trizol, which is a curative. So that's why I like Trivapro for fungicide resistance and also longevity of control. Stratego YLD would be another product that is high on my list. Um, it is a mixed mode of action product. It has a strobilarin for preventative and also a trizol for curative. So if we're going to plan for a fungicide application on a crop like this, and we don't see a whole lot of disease, but we want to go ahead and spray a fungicide, and we're expecting disease to infect because of the weather conditions that we have, we would want to rely more on a strobilarin in the chemistry than we would a trizol, because the, remember the strobilarin is preventative. Should I use an insecticide with my fungicide? Obviously if you have uh, insects present that are at risk of feeding on the silks, and again here we don't see a whole lot of silks yet, but we will see those in the next week. Um, if we're seeing Japanese beetles clip on those silks, we're seeing corn rootworm beetles, if we're seeing aphids, things like that, we definitely want to include an insecticide in our fungicide application. Will fungicides help with anything else? Yes. So the answer to that is yes. What will they help with? Basically a greening effect would be one thing, our strobilarins and our SDHIs. So I talked about those in the past here with Headline Amp, Trivapro, and Stratego YLD all have that greening effect because it has strobilarin chemistry and the Trivapro product has that SDHI which is also preventative chemistry and has a greening effect. So we will have a longer grain fill period and we will uh, tend to improve stalk quality. So management of stalk rots would also be one thing that we could expect from a fungicide uh, at tassel time or at the silking time. Next thing I want to cover real quick here as I finish up is using our fungicide response ratings. So this year with our expected high disease pressure in areas that have had rainfall, uh, with the warm or hot conditions, we're expecting gray leaf spot to really infect. We, we don't expect a whole lot of northern corn leaf blight this year. Um, so those are two diseases that we we'll really watch out for in this particular area. Others would be common rust and also southern rust. Those would typically come with drier conditions than what we have now and what we're expecting. But we take a look at our disease response ratings or our fungicide response ratings per hybrid. You can access that information on the internet with our website and our fact sheets per hybrid. It shows the fungicide response ratings for each hybrid, but I would caution you when you're using that information this year, you may want to not necessarily throw it out the window, but don't just don't ignore those fields that have a low response to fungicide rating. Uh, those fields still need to be scouted and they need to be sprayed if we have enough infection that I was referring to earlier. So I know this is a little bit long recording here guys, but uh, just wanted to put out this video as a reminder on, on some things that I get common questions about. I think we will have a strong use of fungicides this year given the scenario that we are set up for. Thank you very much.